I see that! Now look, Whitney, you went too far, now you gotta go back! Maybe you want to come shopping with us one day, Beauty. But I forgot. You like to visit the poor section of the city. Your clothes are perfect. You fit in with all the beggars who live there. This can't be. I know these clerks who run our offices in the city. I hired them all myself. They're, they're very, very good men. They're thieves, father. Are you sure? They can't be thieves. They're thieves, father. There's nothing left. They've stolen all our money and run off. Oh my, are you sure? Our ships, though, we still have our lovely ships. No, all three ships are a month overdue. Oh, my. Oh, beauty, my dearest daughter, I'm afraid it's our own family which will soon be in need of help. That's bad. And how are you today, Missy? <laughs> father! 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 I brought your lunch! Oh, please. Please don't let it be bad news. Beauty! Beauty! You're fired! Beautiful dresses like a duchess would wear police! I want jewels, Father. Rings and necklaces and a diamond brooch. <laughs> now, now, my little petunias. We're not rich yet, you know. We don't even know if there's any cargo on that ship. <laughs> the Golden Swan was silky! I'll only marry Duke. Duke, just picture it! It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. <laughs> and what can I bring you as a gift from the city, beauty? Oh, I don't know, Father. I suppose a rose would be nice. I do miss having roses since we moved out here. Here's the bill, Father. Fifteen thousand dollars! Whoa, horsey! Whoa! Golden Swan. Yes, yes, my friend, it's right over here. I understand from the captain, caught in a boat for three months and nearly uh, sunk. I want to inspect the cargo holds. The cargo holds? Uh, wait, wait, wait. I, uh, I think we better have a talk. Listen here. Let me just look at my cargo, Harbor Master, and we'll talk afterwards. But, but, sir. Yeah. Harbor Master! I'll not ask you again. Now open the cargo hatch. I'll light a lamp. Oh, no. My spices! They're useless. These tea leaves are tea leaves are useless. Silk. It's tea now. Uh, useless. Uh, rain. Yes! Go ahead and rain, you miserable sky! He's, uh, talking to the sky! Now. Maybe going broke and destroyed his brain. This reminds me of the enchanted forest my mother told me about when I was a boy. Now that was a long time ago. Ooh, I remember she said they were trolls. I must be getting old. What a magnificent place! Hello! I'm a traveler who's lost his mind. <laughs> yeah, I know I must have lost my mind. Why, that's no magic I smell. <laughs> that's chocolate beef. It looks like, if I can trust my eyes, which I'm sure I can, I'm expected. Huh? 
all for a good night. <laughs>
No. I come to warn you not to be fooled by him. He may act fooledly, but it is only to hide a stone. It can't be. He couldn't. Be gone before I strike you dead. Oh, the land of the greenhouse is so wonderful. Yeah, sure, sure it is. Just imagine, it's winter outside, yet we have all these beautiful flowers in here. <laughs> Just great. Clara, how can you be so grouchy in this garden? Keeping this room dust free is a losing battle. Not that I'm complaining, but it's like trying to vacuum a dirt road. Maybe you think they just grow like this all by themselves, huh? <laughs> Let's arrange these flowers in the dining room. I want Beast to be pleased with them. Clara, you've been here for a long time, haven't you? What do you think of Beast? Honey, I make it a point never to talk about my boss. But what do you think of him? What did I tell you? It doesn't matter what I think of him. All that matters is what you think of him. But what do you think of him? Did you enjoy your shredded newspaper beauty? As always, but... Why do you never eat with me? I am a board, and I must eat as a board does. But let's not speak of such things. Will you come out onto the balcony with me? Come closer and dance with me. <laughs> This has been a glorious night, Beast. How can I thank you? By being my wife. Won't you marry me, Beauty? How foolish of me to think you might accept. Dear Beast, I will always be your friend. <laughs> there is nothing I would refuse you. Then let me visit my father. No, you do not know what you ask. If you leave me, then I shall die of loneliness. What? One week. Just give me one week to visit my family. Then I will return to you. No, no, it has to be tonight. I would surely die if it was but a day more than the week you ask for. And I would want you to die, dear beast. I'm going home. I'm going home at last. California, here I go! Yeah! This is a golden opportunity for you, beauty. Once you are away from the castle, the beast can die. But he seems so sweet. He told me. Later, Dad. I'm not gonna let some silly dream scare me. Oh! <laughs> and so, with the useless gold and jewels the beast gave me when I last saw you, we bought this house and moved to space. Somehow, beauty. Uh, uh, now that you're... But, Robert, I promised Beast I could only stay for one week. If I stay any longer, he will die. Then let him die! No, Nathan. Beast is my friend. He treats me tenderly, with affection. Then let him die! We'll see to it this Beast who treats her so well dies. Then she will have nothing and will envy us. All we need do is keep her here longer than a week. <laughs> Alicia, you are useless. <laughs> Despite the way you look, I am content that you are old. From what you've told me of the beast, it sounds as if he cares for you. Then let him die. Please, beauty. Don't go. Well, I suppose I could stay one more day. <laughs> Huh? It's the X tornado! But who's flying it? I'll get you, you brat! What are you?
you doing here? Now we change to Excyclone! Transform! You'll see who's boss now! Cyclone Kick! Beast, where are you? Beast, I've returned. Your beauty is back. Well, what are we waiting for?